What's going on guys? Sean Goods here back with another video. I just cut my man Jason's hair and he's flipping out. Right, we're gonna jump right into this cut. This is a number two all the way closed on my Babyliss FX. You guys are gonna see me tackle each side differently. I have never cut his hair, so I'm gonna start off this way. And you're gonna see me struggle to get it down nice and clean next to the long hair, so I will adjust and do it differently on the other side, and we'll talk about that when we get there. Because this is a number two, then we're gonna clip or overcome the weight that's up next to the long hair, and then we can start our fade. Now guys, I have the comb straight in, basically flush with his head, and the general rule of thumb is that when you do clipper over comb like this, it's gonna be equivalent to about a two. So you saw we started with the two. Now I'm going in, I'm just trying to get that hair next to the long hair. See, it's a little bit difficult, you gotta be super careful. I'm just trying to get it evened up, and then we can come in underneath and start the fade. So we're gonna start off, as always guys, with the ball guideline with our Slimline Pros. I'm going from the bottom of his vertical bar, pretty much straight around, you guys can see the section from the top to the sides. We're basically gonna follow that part and our bald guideline will be exactly the same shape. Then of course, we'll go ahead and bald everything out underneath, come with the shaver, get it all the way down the skin and we can start our first step of the fade. Now we're gonna start our first step with the lever all the way open. This is on my Gamma X Ergo with the taper blade. And guys, we have a lot more room here. We're only blending up to a two. So we can go about three quarters of an inch to an inch. We're gonna give ourselves plenty of room to stretch this fade out and make it nice and blurry. Now we're gonna come in, this is my other X Ergo with the Fusion Blade on. Basically guys, all that means is that this blade cuts a little bit shorter, so I use it to take the bald guideline out. Then we will immediately switch back to the other X Ergo. We're gonna use it closed as well, but I want you guys to understand that the taper blade closed is not as short as this, so you're gonna see two notches basically right now. Then we'll open it up halfway, work the last line out in this section, and we can move up. Now we started with the two, so I'm gonna take my one and a half halfway open and go ahead and connect to the two. Basically, we're just gonna fade our way down until we get to this last line that's left. So we'll do the one and a half, then the open one, then the closed one, and the half guard on that line, and we'll be done with this side. Now with the open one, we want to blend right into the one and a half that we just did. We should not see a guideline. We'll go through this a couple times with the open one, then we can close it up and we'll start to attack the line left between the open section and the one.
Now, last but not least, guys, of course, the half guard, the magic eraser will come through. It is halfway open and any dark spots that are left, we're just gonna hit with the half and it should clean those up and we can move on. All right, guys, moving on to the other side, you can see, like I said, I'm gonna tackle it differently. So this blade right here, the detachable clipper with the two blade is gonna cut a little bit closer. You're gonna see I'm able to get right up next to that long hair and cut this down nice and consistent. So I will, it's not in the video, but I will go back to the other side and go ahead and cut it with the same blade. And then we're gonna fade our way down, guys. So the two blade is basically equivalent to the open one. So the open one will blend right in. And now we will go ahead and start our ball guideline. Same steps as the other side. So you guys follow along in the color guide down below. And guys, like I said, this is my man, Jason. He is my other new barber at the shop. So he is up front across from Hunter that was in the last video. If you guys didn't see Hunter's video, definitely go check it out. I'll put it in the card up above. But Jason's new, he's a young dude. Went to barber school straight out of high school and he's just got started and is killing it so far. Super talented. And uh, I'm looking forward to see where he takes in the future. So, you know, I started school when I was 26. So he is 19, already out of school and starting his career. Sometimes I think I wish I would have gone straight out of high school, but things happen for a reason, so I'm where I'm at now. But uh, I'm stoked for him. He's gonna have a lot of success and a lot of time to get there, and uh, he's already doing super well. I'm gonna put his Instagram up on the screen. You guys go there, comment on his first picture and tell him he needs to get at it, post some more. Guys, throw him a follow. His Instagram is the underscore Lil J. I'll put it on the screen. You guys go follow him and drop a couple likes. Make sure you tell him who sent you. Now guys, on the back, all we have is this little baby section. We will do the same exact steps, and then we're gonna get this lineup together, and it is gonna make this haircut pop. Super, super, super crispy. He was super stoked with this haircut. Like I said, guys, I've never cut his hair before. He's got some nice hair to blend. I did have to figure a few things out, but wait till you guys see this lineup. It's gonna come together and be super dope. All right, so for the front hairline, you can see it's grown out just like the side. So we're just gonna brush it down. We want it all laying down. I'm gonna come in with my one and a half closed and we're gonna cut it with the grain. So we're gonna go down and just cut it down. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of hairspray, hold it down while we come in and get the line nice and crispy. And just like normal, we're gonna start at the first point that we see consistent hair all the way across so we can take off as little as possible. Guys, all that long hair hanging down the sides, that's still some of those long hairs left from the bangs. So we will be cutting all that off, but we're not really pushing him back. We're finding the first area that he has full, consistent hair all the way across, working it from the middle to each corner, getting it nice and straight across, get the vertical bars nice and sharp. And we'll come in and do some enhancements and some razor work, and you guys can check out this finished haircut. All right guys, now we're gonna come in and do some enhancements. Guys, this is the 245 black brown. You guys can see his hair is slightly brown, not all the way black, and he does have lighter skin, so we're gonna use the black brown. We just wanna accentuate the vertical bars. You guys know when you do a high fade, you lose some of that sharpness on the vertical bars. So we'll hit the vertical bar, then we'll work the straight line all the way across the front, just darken it up. Then we can come in with the razor and get it all finished up, and you guys can check it out.
Now we're gonna come in using our 245 triple cartridge razor. Guys, the blade is fully exposed. You can see it's sticking out quite a bit. We're just gonna stretch the skin and pull the blade all the way to the line, making the line nice and sharp. You guys can see I am going over some other areas. He does have a lot of little peach fuzz everywhere and I did apply shave gel. So I'm just going over his whole forehead basically to get all of that stubble off of there, all that peach fuzz off of there and the shave gel as well to make sure it's nice and clean and we have our line nice and sharp. All right guys, there's my man Jason before. You can see underneath all that long hair how grown out it was and he had been waiting on me to cut it. And there you go guys, there's the finished product. High bald fade, man bun, top knot, whatever you wanna call it with a crispy enhanced lineup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash that thumbs up if you liked it. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. Go follow my man on Instagram at the underscore Lil J and show him some love. If you guys aren't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notifications so you guys don't miss any content from me. As always, guys, I appreciate you watching, and I'll catch you next time.